Hello, my sweet friends, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicole Cole. I am the Vintage Southern Belle. So today we are going to do in the living room, and y'all can tell where I'm at, but I didn't share this room during um, my spring home tour. And the reason I didn't is because it was just a wreck between trying to find things to add in my husband's area, you know, trying to get all the blinds down. I'm sure me standing here looking, there are things that I still need to do, but I am almost positive you guys will overlook that. But, um, you know, if you're wanting to know what my channel is about, I love all kinds of heirlooms. I love to share all kinds of styles. I love mixing all kinds of styles. I am not afraid of color. I am not a minimalist. I think I've crossed all the boxes. So, um, my, do, my favorite color is blue. So, I do use a lot of blue. But when I show you my blue items, you can do this with any color. You could do it with green. You could do it with red. My mother loves red. And I used to gravitate to red, but now it's all blue. So, I can't wait to share this with you guys. I'm going to share how we did the curtains first and um, all the goodies. And then, we're just going to take one big tour of the room. So I'm gonna do just the center, and you can see I've taped it all the way across. That's 15 inches above this spot right there. So I just marked it all across with the painter's tape, and then that's where we're gonna do our curtain rods. I'm over here in this corner, and I have all my Roseville, or not all of it, some of my Roseville pottery in this piece here. And I'm thinking since I'm using the brown in here, and I have my mother's, uh, plates and things or china in here in the living room, maybe I should use that in here. So let's see. Walk up into our living room. I'm just going to kind of take you a ways. Probably I haven't showed many of you this, but this is my husband's memorabilia from his military days. And I, you know, hung his uniforms in these really pretty, um, uh, what are these things called? Shadow boxes. And then my brother had that made for us. And then I just kind of did some things in uh, little, uh, mirror, little frames, little shadow boxes so he could have that. I'm sorry about the glare. There you go. So, if you've been watching, this piece right here was honestly in our dining room. This was my mother's. This is an old TV stand. Philco old TV stand. It's got drawers in it. Wonderful for storage. And then there's some storage down below. But I thought that it looked really good over here. It's a little shorter. So it gave me more room to do his chairs in front of his desk. And it's dark, it's masculine. So what I'm calling this area over here is my husband's library. I'm trying to sound all sophisticated. But I bought these chairs off of Facebook Marketplace. I paid $100 for the set. Bought the desk off Facebook Marketplace. $100 for the desk. <laughs> so um, I have been collecting some things to put over here and I'll show you the three pieces or yeah three things that I have just purchased I bought this uh, medallion or topper I think it's called a gold eagle and then my my husband had mentioned he wanted an eagle down in the front so I believe this is a door knocker and we're gonna mount that on the front of his desk also I may have shared these with you guys but these are um like canisters but they're plastic down on the inside and I thought that he could put pens and pencils now look the desk is kind of scuffed up and I haven't really done anything much to it but I do plan on it I just hadn't had the opportunity with all the window shenanigans but you'll see over here in the corner I have a cord I'm trying to hide cords in here guys when you have a house that has very limited amount of plugs and 
your house is on an angle everywhere, you kind of hide them. So you can see the cord runs under this rug here and then comes up around into the bucket. And see all of my outlets or plugs are down inside there so you can't see, <laughs> you can't see them. Really, you can't. So if I stand back here, you don't see them. My husband has a wonderful view over here. I needed somewhere to put the printer for him in here. He does work from the office sometimes here. So I wanted him to have an area. And then this little cabinet, or not little, I love this cabinet. I bought this at a local thrift shop. And I have filled it with some of my daddy's carvings, some of my husband's father's pieces, you know, some things that we had at the lake house, like the minnow bucket, my great grandfather's lanterns up top, you can see. So it's just a hodgepodge. Look at this. This is something that my great grandfather carved. Look at that. Isn't that the neatest thing? But this cabinet is very interesting. All kinds of things. My dad's old pipes, some old encyclopedias. My husband was stationed in Germany and that is a Stein. <laughs> I think I'm saying that right. My great grandfather was a doctor. And, you know, I just love having this cabinet over here. And boy, gracious at the storage. But over here in the living room, we have moved the furniture back quite a bit. So I'm loving the space that it's giving us, the size it makes it feel so much bigger, which really, guys, this room is humongous. Uh, you know, when I walked in here for the first time and I showed y'all a p picture of it, it was huge, and they had all the furniture kind of up around the uh, mantle area, which I completely understand, but you've got to really think outside the box when you're doing a large room like that, like this, excuse me. So, why, that's why I did it in areas. So, you've got my husband's desk or office area. Then you have the living room, which when we moved into this house, hey, bear. Hey, Bear. Bear, Bear. Um, when we moved into this house, we had no furniture. We had a very few pieces. I kept some of my memorabilia pieces that I wanted to keep. And then the rest of it is all new. A lot of my stuff I bought off Facebook Marketplace. But now, like, you know, couches and things like that, I did buy from a local furniture store. But look at my pillows with the gingham pillow shams that I bought off of Amazon. I love these. These kind of make me think of, um, what is that called? Block stamped, I believe. And I love that look. So this, the curtains turned out absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Very, another sophisticated thing that I'm really not like, but I really like this. I've always had for, gosh, for years now, I've had drop cloth curtains. So this is the first, I really wanted pleated, but I could not afford it. It was ridiculous how much it would have cost to do these. So I have four sets. Each set was 30 some odd dollars, which I did not think was bad. And I'm, I might be wrong, don't quote me on it, but it wasn't like a hundred dollars a set or more, okay? But I love the curtain rod. So there's one curtain rod here one curtain rod here and I'm going to take y'all to the side and let you see how curved it is. Hey buddy. Y'all know I'm not fibbing to you. Look at all those blinds I had to take down and I am probably going to sell them because I have no use for them. Who in the world would want to cover up these windows now? I do not but let me show y'all how curved the wall is. Do y'all see that? So the back of this house is like one big half circle. So um, what we did is we put the, the curtain uh, holders up there and then my, we put each end in and then my husband manipulated and kind of pulled it back. It wasn't like tremendous, but that gave it that beautiful swag or half circle there. Love this. I'm going to turn around and let y'all see all of the living room. We did kind of move everything back like I had mentioned before. So, we love this mantle area. Have not finished the bottom yet, 
but I do have countertops. Let me show the you The bottom that. is kind of a walnut. These came from Lowe's. I love these cabinets. I used them in our old house at the lake. And um, I bought these. These are like shelving pieces at Lowe's as well. So I do realize, you know, it's kind of long in the front. So I am going to cut that off. And I think, I'm thinking about making it a bib on the back. But I, I'm, I think I'm going to really enjoy the storage that it gives me but we are loving loving the shelves up top and all the added warmth that it gives to this room table here i've had kind of put it one way did it a different way i've moved it around numerous times but this is a table that my father and i built together i've done some little hinges on it and i still left the numbers of the slab of wood on it but this is swahili mahogany this uh was something we bought in evergreen alabama years ago and then my dad and i planed the wood pieced it together and then he hand carved all the top of this so that's how much my daddy loves me we had seen something very similar to this in a store and he just went to town and i love it it's something I'll cherish forever. So I'm kind of using it as somewhat of a sofa table, but I love it because we can sit right here and um, watch TV. So it it's really wonderful. I want to take y'all over and show you how I redid this hutch. Corner hutch at Just Stuff in Op, Alabama. I love this corner hutch. I'd love to have like five of these things because you can just store all kinds of things inside them. And I love to group my items together. So all of this is my mother's ironstone china. And then I did mix in some other things, of course, but there's the butter dish and the gravy bowl with some greenery down in it. And then this is a teapot, I believe. Y'all can, you know, tell me if I'm wrong. I think a coffee pot the spout is way down low to keep it warmer when you're serving it but um then there's just a casserole dish and I've got my milk um things up there but I love love a corner shelf if y'all get the opportunity to buy a corner shelf let me show you down below I'm just gonna let y'all see it all um this is I store Christmas things down here so, if y'all get the opportunity to buy a corner hutch, take my advice. Buy it. It's gorgeous. I love the wavy glass in this one, too. Love the wavy glass. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. All throughout the house, I have pictures of barns. I love barns. There's something about them that just make me feel good. I have a huge one over there. Then this is my barn that I have bought from a lady off of Facebook. She makes them out of old barn wood. And then behind it is a peel and stick art. Let me show you. So this is just a decal. But I thought, doesn't it look like it's in the mountains? I would really love to, you know, trim it out in wood, but we haven't done that yet. And then I've added the little animals. And the grandbabies just gravitate to this area. Yesterday, I wasn't able to do my video because my granddaughter was here. And bless her heart, she was sick. But she had every animal down out of that shelf within five minutes that she was here. So glad y'all could join me today. So glad that I get to share with you all. Uh, we've got a lot of things going on. Hopefully get you some videos up pretty soon with me decorating and sharing with you guys. But I wanted to share with you all the living room and how the curtains turned out. I think it's beautiful. Y'all have an awesome week. of my life. He washes over me with love.
of my life.